For decades, after killing a Navy recruit on the day after she graduated, a local man has just been found guilty of her murder. Thomas Garner was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. New Six's Amanda Castro talked with the victim's family outside the Seminole County Courthouse. The victim's family says they finally feel like they got justice decades after their sister's murder. Prosecutors saying this case came down to DNA evidence and investigators with the Seminole County Sheriff's Office who refused to give up on this cold case. Closing arguments in Thomas Garner's murder trial began this morning, a day after he took the stand in his own defense. Garner said he may have had a casual sexual encounter with the victim, Pamela Kahanes, but he says he didn't kill her. Kahanes was found murdered in August of 1984. The state says she was viciously strangled. Investigators found DNA evidence on her body, but it took 35 years to link that evidence to Garner. Kahanes' sisters were in court today, thankful to finally get answers in her death, saying she missed out on so much. She didn't have that chance. She didn't have that chance to serve the military like she wanted to. She didn't have that chance to get a husband, to have a family. I mean, so much was taken, and yet, He's had those 37 years and done whatever. Yeah. And so I don't, I feel vindicated that now I want to take something from him. And it means, I guess, sitting in prison, reflecting while you're there, what you've done to become there. And I want him to forever say her name, Pamela Jane Kahanas. That's exactly why I'm here. Garner was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Prosecutors calling him a serial killer, saying they wouldn't be surprised if he had more victims. We've also learned Garner is being investigated as a possible suspect in another cold case murder. He has not been charged. Prosecutors saying today's conviction could help with that case. Reporting in Seminole County, Amanda Castro getting results, News 6.